Welcome to another episode of the Chamber Member Spotlight. My name is Michelle Mercier, and I'm the CEO and President of the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce. And I am very excited to be here today with Dr. Badal Kalamkar of Zenith Primary and Urgent Care. Hello, Doctor. Can I call you Doctor K? Because Jazz also, your wife also told me that too. <laughs> you can call me Doctor K. Um, bottle is also just fine. Bottle is yeah. fine. Great. All right. Well, welcome to the show. I'm really excited to have you here. Yeah, Michelle. Thank you for having me here, and it's an honor to be here talking to you. Of course. Yes. Of course. I'm. I'm very excited for your practice to open. You just. You just opened on August first, right? Yes, we did. That is exciting. And before we jump into learning more about your business and things like that, can you tell us a little bit about your pathway? I know you've had a really interesting pathway to kind of get to where you are today. Yes. So um, I've been practicing medicine over 10 years now, and I've mostly worked in Massachusetts, starting all the way from uh, Greenfield, which is uh, uh, in Western Mass, and I worked in Boston hospitals and uh, in Brockton area. Um, and uh, I worked as an internist on inpatient side. What that meant was I took care of patients who came to the hospital okay. for several illnesses. Um and what I noticed was uh, there's always potential for improvement for things that can be done outside of the hospital, which is before you get sick. Yeah. And I found there was a common theme to that. And uh, that led me to further exploring what else could be done in a more proactive way as opposed to always being on the yeah, reactive sure. side. So that led me to exploring what are the further avenues for me uh, as a healthcare professional to help out patients and uh, the potential flag that was sticking out was, well, let's see what we can do in the community. Yeah. And uh, we started off by laying our foundations for primary care. And then very frequently we noticed that patients come into urgent care because they could not get hold of their primary care. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a no-brainer that we had to make sure that we are providing access to care seven days a week and... Wow. Um, it was uh, something that was well received by our patients in the first two weeks we've been open. Yeah, that's that's huge. So yeah, so tell tell everybody. So seven days a week. Explain kind of that unique model because it is unique, right, to have primary and urgent in the same place, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes, so there are very that. few places which have that. Um, what we see is uh, patients who come in for primary care. They typically don't get seen until like a weekday arrives uh, for their illnesses right. that start on a weekend. Right. And very often, you know, things only go wrong on Friday when your doctor's do. office is closed off true. at 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we wanted to make sure we're there for them. Um, and that's why we have urgent care on site and it's seven days a week. And you will often see me also work a week in here and there. Uh, yeah. So you'll also get to see a primary care doctor on that time. Um, so that's unique. Um, one thing we do is we also have all the point of care testing on site, which are right. all um, CLIA wave labs that uh, we are allowed to do. And we also have x-ray on site. Great. And uh, yeah, we, we also want to add more services so that patients can come into one place and not have to go multiple That's locations. Huge. Yeah. That's huge. Because I think when you think about, I'm just thinking about my medical journey and, and my children and everybody else that I kind of care for and how many different places we go to for different things all the time. Exactly. And I can imagine that that would be kind of like hitting a gold mine if they could just come to you for exactly. it all. Exactly. Exactly. That would be yeah. amazing. And that's the goal. And it's been well received from the community. I'm sure. I'm sure. I know I was speaking again to your wife last night and she was telling me how you're already having people coming in. And, you know, that must be a really exciting thing for you, right? Yeah. And it's actually very gratifying to see that what you thought would work is actually yeah. working. So that's the best part about being a healthcare professional as uh, when you have an idea and you try to implement it and yeah. people are already saying that's amazing that's great that's the best part about it yeah that's great that's great so what do you love the most about about what you do for a job like what what really kind of fills you up when it comes to that so i mean as a as a doctor you see like patients rely on you for everything yeah they share everything with you and uh, i think the best part about it is your ability to give them that helping hand Mm -hmm. um, not just in a medical way where you can write them prescriptions and make them feel better, but yeah. also help them in ways that you always wished somebody helped you or your family member. Yeah. So the way I see patients every day is I put myself in their shoes and I would treat them the way I would want to be treated. Lovely. And that's our theme for that's Zenith. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's where, where did Zenith come from? Where'd the name come from? I gotta ask. Oh, yeah, it, it took us a long time to get to that name. It's yeah. very interesting because um, Zenith, uh, 
first of all, most of the names are taken. Yeah, there are a lot of names taken. <laughs> Let yes. me start off by saying most of the names are taken. Yeah. And then the common theme uh, that me and my business partner, Jazz, we talked about was uh, what is it that we want for our patients? Yeah. And the key point to that was we wanted them to have um, max health. Um, we wanted them to be at the peak of their health. And Zenith means when it's uh, the sun is at its peak mm -hmm. and it's uh, the highest point. So that's we amazing. want our patients to get to the highest point of their health. Um, and that's why we ended up at Zenith. That's such a great, I mean, that right there is a great story. I hope you all remember that from what he just said, because that is just, you know, it's a great point of remembrance to right. keep you guys really on the map and in, ingrained in the community, just because right. if you go to that extent of naming your business after something because you care about your patients that much, then that's huge right. for, seeing pa for seeing patients and differentiating you. Right. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> of course. Uh, so what are you what are you looking to do beyond expand patients? Like you said, you want to bring in, you want to bring in kind of more specialties and so that you're a one-stop shop. You want to expand patients. So how many patients do you see over there? Like what's your goal? Well, uh, a typical primary care practice uh, per provider sees anywhere from like Two to 3,000 patients. Wow. Our goal is not to go by per provider. Our goal is to see what's a good time you need yeah. to spend with the patient. Oh, so yes. we're trying to think out of the box because um, the way healthcare is structured right now, it's uh, it's more production-based than value-based yeah. as much as we want to talk about value. So we want to create that value by trying to find out what's a good amount of time you can spend with the patient and then from track back from there. Nice. So we don't have a number in mind that we have to hit a certain target nice. so that uh, that's how we're going to be successful. But we want to go by the feedback we receive from the patients. Nice. Um, so that's the goal. Um, the other aspect of providing care at Zenith is we want to add additional services in future. Yeah. What that would mean is if you are a diabetic patient and you wanted to make sure you see an endocrinologist or somebody from their team, we would want to have them at the practice a um, few days a week. That way you don't have to drive to two different yeah, addresses. It's easy. Yeah. And you'll find uh, frequently that a lot of patients uh, find it difficult to communicate and also make it to their appointments because is just in two separate places right. or it's too right. far out in Boston or yeah, right. so we want to bring it all in into the community and uh, make it one stop shop for the patients. That's so wonderful. endocrine is one of them, cardiology and then eventually orthopedics. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Yeah. So we want to integrate all the most commonly used services first. And we were having conversation off camera before, too, about how you are also I mean, that is wonderful that you're bringing in the in-house, but you also are going to have affiliations with a lot of the hospitals. So speak about a little bit about that too. Correct. So right now we are affiliated with UMass and we are proud of that. And we want to expand our affiliations to all the hospitals in future. We want patients to have the choice to decide where they want to go for their um, services. So um, we're proud. We're affiliated with UMass at this time and we will add more affiliations uh, for the Boston hospitals in future. That's wonderful. I mean, I think I have to give you credit for you and your business partner. You both work as a great team Thank from you. what I've seen. Like you both are kind of like really good and complement each other in your skill set. And I think that's going to make your business really successful from that. At least that's my that's my two cents <laughs> on it. I don't know if that's worth anything, but that's what I'm sticking with. No, but I'll take that. I think uh, you're <laughs> right because we do do that. And uh, uh, Jazz is a fantastic uh, business partner and uh, she... Uh, compliments me and everything yeah. that I lack and that's a lot of things but uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay don't we all don't we all on some level but I think that's what you need you need yes. you know two pieces of a puzzle to exactly. kind of fit together exactly. which will make a business successful right and I think every every conversation I've had with you or her like it just seems like you guys are on the right trajectory right and I'm excited because we're doing a ribbon cutting for you towards the end of yes. this month which I'm extremely excited for you on that and and getting to do that um, and welcome you to the community even more because I think you're going to be such a great asset to this community yes and we are excited for that we are excited to uh, hear from everyone in the community yeah. and we want to see what we can do to make things better there are things that we may not have and we want you to come forward and talk to us and tell us how can we do things differently because we are not a part of any corporate entity so right. we are flexible we're nimble if That's there's right. something that makes sense we will 
implement it right away without having to jump through the bureaucratic hurdles. That's huge. That's yeah. so huge. And I think definitely is another thing that kind of sets you apart in the marketplace. Yes. Um, that you don't have to, you know, like you said, jump through these hoops or go through all these protocols. I mean, obviously it's medicine, there's protocols. But, but when it comes to the office and comes to things like Correct. that, you can just move as the market sees. Exactly. That's amazing. That's amazing. Is there anything else you think that our audience should know about your practice or anything else that you want to share with us? Um, we want to make you aware that we are open seven days a week. That's huge. And uh, currently we are nine to five, but we'll plan to expand the hours beyond that on the days when we see there is a need for patients. Typically, you know, on um, earlier in the weekdays, Mondays and Tuesdays. And uh, we have primary care and urgent care on site. And we have all the services that you typically need in an urgent care center. And for primary care, we're still making affiliations, but we want to keep the patient in mind and work from there. Yeah. So anything that we do is going to be with patient-centered approach. That's what patient-centered approach. Thank you in advance to everybody who sees you just for that fact yeah. alone. Patient-centered approach as it should be, as it should be. Well, thank you, Dr. Klemkar, for being here with us today. I really appreciate this conversation. And for those that are watching, actually, before that, tell us where they can find you. I almost forgot that part. Tell them yes. where they can get to you. So we are at uh, 757 Boston Post Road East in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Yep. And we are um, in the Staples Plaza. Wonderful. Um, next to Home Depot. So um, those are two big uh, <laughs> places you wouldn't forget. But yeah, you can find us there or you can also find us at zenithfamilycare.com or you can call us to make an appointment at 617-500-7933. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't forget that part because that is very important for yes. people to find you. So for those watching, please take a minute, visit their website, stop in and say hello to them. They are a great, huge gem in this community and we need to support them. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting local businesses, and I'll see you on the next video.